Hello everyone. I'm going to be playing Fire Emblem 7 Hector Hard Mode. And since I pretty much pre-planned these all out, I have to oh, skip the whole pick story thing or else the random numbers will get messed up and my strategies won't work. And I'll get mad. And I'm gonna go through the cutscenes or else this will be really bland, me just explaining strategies and such. And if you don't believe I'm playing on Hector Hard Mode, I'll just point out some stuff that prove it when we get into the actual chapters themselves. Chapter 11, Another Journey. Referring to how you have to unlock this story. I tried doing Lin mode, but my commentary was not engaging, nor was the gameplay very impressive. And if I did normal mode, that would be the same case. So, at least on Hector Hard mode, if I'm not interesting, at least my strategies will be pretty good. I guess. And I've never actually sat down and re read all of this before, I just skipped every cutscene. And the reason why I'm doing this with commentary instead of just finishing my old ones because it just felt like a chore. Anyways, let's see what's going on in this story. Now there was Dad's gone missing, Hector's like, we're getting involved, and Uther's like, no, like, why, no. Bah! Sit there on your throne, sit there until it rots beneath you, I will do this alone. He certainly won't. Peace, Oswald. Matthew! Matthew! Blast! Matthew can teleport. You're not a wraith. Stop skulking about in the shadows like one. A wraith? I'm a spy. Everyone's British. Here are your travel rations and your beloved axe. But it's really only two axes and no rations at all. Well done, Matthew. I thought I was going with you. You better be coming with us. Do you think I would trust my brother's spy? Where I go, I go alone. Shh. Enough. Do not try and follow me. And Matthew's gone. I don't trust him. The time has come to rendezvous with Ellywood. <laughs> huh? Spidey sense is tingling. Who are you? Too dumb to speak, I'll cut you. Bam! Hector will do that a lot. Whoa! It's me. Hector couldn't hit Matthew even if he tried. I am one of me. And I'd prefer to remain in one piece. I sensed that something was wrong. My aid. I'll accept that answer for the time being. About what? About the fellows between us and the way out. There are seven or eight of them. And highly competent. I'm not the strongest sword arm around, even though my strength is equal to yours, you know. Hector's like, no! We're going out the back, killing everyone. You can go back if you want. Never. Let's give them a good thrashing. Anyways, I hope this goes the way I want it. If it doesn't, I'll suspend and edit shit out. Reset again and I'll <laughs> restarting to get the numbers on my side. I knew I'd slip up. Anyways, this is um 
Hector, hard mode, once again. Break that wall. I planned this all out, so things should hopefully go right. This will all make for a funny montage later. If I decide to include bloopers. And things of that sort. Anyways, Matthew will kill this guy, which is one of the perks of doing Lin mode, and he should get an HP speed res level up. Let's see, HP speed res, just as planned. You do not want to open any of these doors, and except for the far west one, because all those guys down there will start attacking as soon as you open it. Like so. These guys start moving up. That thief will s kindly steal the red gem for us. Move Hector here. Matthew in here. That soldier will attack. Miss. Great. He will also miss. Still just as planned. Hector attacks first. You're too good, too professional. I snuck right by all of you. Nothing like those idiots. He's a pretty shit boss. Oh, and um, I believe this strategy gets me a six turn win on this chapter, which is probably the lowest amount you'll get. Let's check. Yeah, six turn victory. Last time I stole the lockpick instead of the red gem. Dumb me. Had to restart. This time I did it right though. Wire will miss. And since the objective was only to kill the boss, we win. Should get HP, strength, speed. Yeah, and luck. Just as planned. That was close, glad we're both alright. We must fly! Matthew, you rogue. You knew this was all going to happen, didn't you? What else could I do? Uh, mini side note, I'll be restarting in between every chapter after I save to reset the random numbers because it makes my plans and strategies more solid because I can kinda control the beginning of the chapter or whatever. To Hollywood! Hector's escaped. Yes! We are gathering men now. Attend me, we will let him go. Uther smiling. Oswin! Not yet. Oswin! Go with him. And thank god Oswin comes with us. It'd be horrible without him. Uther's in mortal danger from sickness. No one cares. Oswin's like, I got this, mate. I got this. Save. Reset. If you don't get tired of that by the time this playthrough is over, you have the patience of a god. Hector leaves Ostia. He moves towards Santa Rose to meet up with Eliwood. Don't know why you want to, he's not particularly great or anything. Hector Harry is praying for his friend's safety. Chapter 12, Birds of a Feather. I have it! I know where Eliwood is! Is that so? Gonna jump over the border. Hey, it's Sarah. <laughs> Matthew just fades into the shadows like, no, God, why? Sarah's like, but I wanna. Oswin? Yeah, Oswin. 
Well, at least he gave us the most amazing units possible, unlike Elliewood's gang, who I'll get to. Idle banter. Sudden danger. Where is it, Elliewood? Let's get closer. Wait up. Random mook. Looks like some rough business. You soldier, are you just going to stand there and watch? Any foreign lord lane. I believe I'm going to have to disagree with you. He's a friend of mine. Friend? What? Axe! Hector's amazing. That's terrible. Nicely done. Matthew is the only one who likes doing things the best way possible. Help Elliewood. Sounds like a convenient excuse for more violence. Yay, violence! Matthew, bring Sarah and hide in a bush. What? No way. Absolutely not. He'll slow us down. Oswin, let's go. We start this chapter. Down here's Elliewood and his gang of sucky ass suckmeisters. This is Elliewood. He has the most potential to suck of any character in this game, but you have to use him, so I'm using him. This is Rebecca. She's an archer. That's why she's terrible. This is Marcus. Marcus is the best unit in the game, no questions asked. Only one other person can compete with him, only if you do Lin mode, which I did. This is Lowen. He has like a tangle on his head. And... He's okay. He's not my favorite cavalier. I might use him. I might not. He definitely has like the highest defense of any cavalier in the game, so that's his merit. Ha <laughs> Dorcas. Bartra! I don't like Bartra, he's really bleh. But I have to use him because I want to recruit everyone, so you'll be seeing him a lot. Well, at least until I get to an arena to grind him. Some EXP. To start this strategy, attack with the javelin. Why do you miss? I must reset. Uh, like I said, this is really annoying to commentate the cutscenes and do this. See, Oswin will hit now. So will Hector. And that's pretty much the key to this strategy. I understand resetting is really annoying, but you wouldn't, or rather, I wouldn't want to just be flailing about. We will send Lowen to that village. Marcus here, Bartra there, Elisa there, Rebecca there, and that's it for our first turn. Everything's gonna attack Hector right now, and Marcus, basically. The south is much harder to manage, or rather, the north is much harder to manage, because the south has Marcus, the north has no one of particular merit right now. So... Hector relies on getting really low hit rates that are semi-controlled, because I've planned this out, like I've said a thousand times. Kill that horse bird! Matthew comes over here, kill another horse bird, and Oswin will javelin this guy. Check the range of this Pegasus, and move Sarah closer for healing that I'm sure I'll need. Lowen goes to this village, tree man, technique, you need technique. Um, the secret book is not the most useful of items, <laughs> but it's really useful for a re another reason. Other than using it for plus two skill. Dorcas and Bartra will tag team this dude, this archer dude. Now... If you're following my strategy, you don't want to step onto that tree because it'll change the random numbers and things will go shitty in the north. 
and Elliewood can move here, even though Elliewood won't do anything in this chapter at all. Hector actually hits that bandit with this strategy, even though he only has a 33% chance, I think. And getting rid of that mercenary is really, like, the most important part of the north. Yeah. Oswin can go in, kill him. Now, you don't want to draw these guys to- well, you don't want to draw this one to you. You want to put Marcus here, so Marcus will get rid of that one, and move, I believe, yeah, Bartra. Move Bartra up. Now, we want to put someone in range of both of those guys. Oops. Well, I probably messed up, but it's of no importance. We'll get one of them to come over here anyways, eventually. I'll probably mess up a lot later, but we've basically cleared the chapter now. Secret book is useful for money. That's all it's good for. Actually, I should have moved Lowen earlier. Probably wouldn't have missed that Pegasus if I did. Oh, we brought the Pegasus over anyways. We'll bail your face off. What level up will he get? Oh hey, he actually got a better level up than my old strategy provided. Matthew takes care of that bandit. Move Marcus onto the mountain, because he'll be the one to take out the boss. Yeah, Autumn hit. The brigand will probably go for Oswin due to wait triangle advantage. Fly two axes, we'll need them later. My commentary is probably really dry. Actually, he attacks Sarah, whatever. Fat boy. Let me show you boys how it's done. By missing. Who do we want to give this kill to? Matt! Oh. Perfect for the next chapter. Since I do rig an amazing level up for him in the next chapter. This was not so easy as it seemed. More Hector theme. Is that all of them? Hector! You wound me. How do you mean? Why didn't you send word? He's going to be very busy and I didn't want to disturb him. I'm Elliewood. I'm a good Samaritan. My brother is not so weak. You insult my family. Is that so? Well then, it would be unwise to refuse this kindness. It does me good to see you, Hector. Think nothing of it. On to more pressing matters. Thank god he sent Oswin. I don't know what I'd do without him. I apologize for the interruption, I couldn't restrain her. Matthew can't subdue a little girl. <laughs> Me, he was talking about you. The noisy one is Sarah. She's a cleric. Golly gee. And that's Matthew. He does a lot of sneaking around. Sneaking around. Gather information, open doors, and chests. <laughs> that sounds like a thieves work. Don't let it worry you, but... Yes, this journey will be much harder than Ellie would expect. Nothing specific. Rumors abound, though. Experienced bounty hunters and mercenaries are vanishing. That reminds me... One of the men who attacked us said something odd. What was it? Hey, it's Marcus! Marcus is also the man. He's not the first man, he's the second man. Another guy is the man. 
who we'll meet later. Someone wants Elliewood dead. That isn't exactly hard to accomplish. So I axed him. Oh. Hey Damien. I remember you. We must hurry to the castle. Hey, changing portraits. I required tactical aid, so I hired a tactical aid. You're very young. We have many strategists, but none so young. You're damn right I have sound advice. Chuck, hey. Before I say chapter over, it's Matthew talking about us. I mean, me. My secrets revealed? Oh yes, that's true. My guise as a common thief was but a ruse. He's a spy. Traveling together again. It's Sarah. Talking about Lin mode. The dark mode that no one should have to suffer. Gosh, aren't I lucky. And that'll end this chapter. Hope you enjoyed. I'm bleh. Probably throw in a word like, like, comment, subscribe for more. Even though I don't really care. And I'll see you next time.